Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm having fun in my studio today. I got my paints. I love my paints and a lot of the tutorials I do, they don't really include paints because I'm doing all kinds of embellishments for um, my art journals that I do tutorials for and the journal with me videos that I provide for you. So today we are actually in fact making some embellishments for our journal and so I just want to show you these because they're little Dollar Tree finds. I found, okay, they ended up having, look at this, underwater stencils at Dollar Tree. So I picked those up and then I got this cute little stencil there and then they have these little canvases. So I actually don't need the canvas, um, the stretcher part of it. I just want the canvas and don't really want to spend time trying to get it off the stretcher the proper way but um, just gonna tear it out I want the canvas portion of it because I'm gonna make a little like canvas paintings for my art journal and this stuff just rips very nicely so get it off there I'm gonna do a couple different ones I just thought these would be so cute in a variety of techniques so I'm going to start off by doing a little underwater scene and I've got my paints but I also have it's gonna be a little bit of a mixed media these um, Glimmer Mists, which are by Tattered Angel. So I'm going to actually Glimmer Mist the canvas first with a little bit of texture on it. And how I'm going to do that is I've got some rock salt here, and I'm just going to kind of put the rock salt on my canvas like so. And then I'm going to start... Bring my glimmer mist. Okay, got some blue. I'm gonna add just a little bit of. They have fun names. This one's Summer Sunflower. Just kind of in the corners. The blue is called Dragonfly Wingo. Isn't that funny? And then. Um, you're just going to kind of shake these stones up a little bit more. You can add some more if you want, just so they're in a different area. And we're going to spritz again. Okay. Maybe get a little more of this in there. If you can add a couple of colors, then you're going to get dimension. I have a little bit of purple here, too, and I think I'm just going to add a little kind of at the bottom. And so I'm just going to let that dry because typically when it's on paper, it dries a little quicker. I'm just going to put that aside. And then I'm going to get my other little piece of canvas. And this one, I think I'm going to do like, are there shells? Oh, there's starfish on here. There's a bunch of starfish. So I think I'm going to do like a little starfish design. And I'm going to use this stamp. It's such a cool stamp kind of as an all over pattern. So with this one, this is a self adhesive one. So bear with me a moment while I peel this off. They certainly don't make it easy for you to get this off. Come on. 
Sometimes I find it so painful watching um, my videos back when I'm doing something tedious, like even just as much as tying a knot. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this uh, plastic underneath and then I am gonna put, it's just a vinyl stencil. I'm gonna put it right over top. And then with this one, let's see. I kind of wanted it to be kind of sandy beach. I don't know that I want to use the green. Okay, so I'm just going to use the oranges here, these two different oranges. So old lace and summer sunflower. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Da, 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 da. Now these um, mists have whoops shimmer in them, and of course it's not going to soak up like paper because it is uh, canvas, and this canvas has gesso on it. I should put one of these underneath. I feel like I want to soak it more. It's going to take a while for me to get the color that I want because it is kind of just sitting on the surface. But that's okay. It'll dry. I'm hoping we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so let's put that one aside to dry. Well, let's see how this guy's doing. Whoops. We might have to add my blow dryer. So plug your ears. So it's starting to dry. I'm just going to get my rock salt off of there. Oh, and look at that rock salt started melting, which is so cool. Oh my gosh. It's almost looking like coral underwater. Hope the glare is not too much. See that? So I'm just going to dry it a little bit more. Okay, so I want you to take a look at this effect. My, this might be a little too bright, my light. So I'm just gonna turn the light away for a sec. But see that? So what happens when you put rock salt on the surface that's gonna stay um, wet? Because this is a gessoed canvas, it's not absorbing the glimmer mist as much as it would paper. Paper, it dries almost instantly. But what happens is because I put the rock salt on, it's um, leaving those areas underneath where the canvas is exposed. But because the rock salt will start melting, it starts melting within the, the um, sorry, I'm trying to explain this so you guys would understand, but what happens is, as you know, with salt, when it gets wet, it starts dissolving. Well, that's what happens when you put the rock salt onto a surface that remains wet, is that salt starts dissolving, but it kind of spreads out from the rock salt itself because they're so big. You want to use the bigger rock salts if you can, 
Um, and then what happens is you're left with this really neat texture. And, you know, these are very, they, when they go on, they look like they're a little bit darker, but when they start drying, they dry very subtle. But we get a really neat effect like this, which is super uber cool. I'm just waiting for my other one to dry. So what we're going to do with this one, I got all my rock salt back in there is we're just going to make like a little canvas painting. And I know you guys can all do this at home. So we've got our background done. And there's a couple things that we're going to do. And we have a stencil. So we're going to grab our other stencil. Now, you can do this with any stencil. I mean, you can... I, I'm just in particular want to do an underwater scene because I am working on a boho beach journal so I want you know the little um fish and all that kind of stuff I'm actually going to do a little start a little uh ah what are these called again <laughs> oh my god seahorses I'm losing my mind I'm going to do a little seahorse and let's see what else do I have on here I did want the little seahorse. And then what I think I'm going to do is just have a little seahorse. And after I'm going to paint a little bit of coral out, I'm going to put some sand at the bottom. You guys are probably like, what? What's going on? How are we doing this? Okay. Well, we have a stencil. So you don't have to worry about painting any of those things. And if you all know me, I always think I'm prepared with everything I need. But guess what? I'm not. So I have to go over here and grab my palette knife and sand. Okay. Sorry about that. No idea where my other palette knife is that I love to use so much. So, but I have one here. You guys can use a popsicle stick if you don't have one. So let's do our seahorse first. And the first thing we're going to do is um, get some paint because we're just going to stencil. And I think I'm going to use, I've got a variety of um, uh, pearl paints. So they've got shimmer in them. And I'm not really sure what color I'm going to use first. I didn't go to the store to get them because I already have them. So I am limited with colors only because I've got the paints that I do my color palette with. So we have got Peridot Pearl. We have Rose Gold. And then this one is... Oh, these Martha Stewart Rose Chrome. Okay, that might not show up so well. Let me see if I could get a little bit more out of this one. Okay. Ooh. This one's blush pink. So I just want to make sure that it, because these are a lot similar to the tones that I have down here. So I want to make sure this, you know, this guy pops out. So I might have to just stick with that rose gold and a little bit of the Peridot. We'll see. We're just going to play. Okay. So I'm going to get my little sand horse down here. And we're just going to... Oop. Forgot something. Where's my gel medium? Oh. Is this it? Nope. That's white. Sorry, guys. Okay. Get a little bit of... This is just um, acrylic gel medium. This one is a gloss. And I'm just going to put a little bit down on there. Okay, so let's start with this rose gold first. We're just going to mix a little bit of gel medium in with that. And I don't know if this is going to work on this surface because it's bumpy, but... You can always use a little sponge if you want. I just kind of wanted a little raise, and I might be a little too ambitious here, but you can use 
a brush if you want. So you're going to add some paint. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the green here. Mix it with a little medium. Only because I want the paint thicker, I did want it kind of embossed a bit. I'll put a little bit of the green on the belly. And maybe a little bit there. And I'll try a little bit of this rose. Just a little bit. Kind of merge with the colors. Okay. So I'm going to carefully raise this. Oh, good. It worked out great. I'll get the excess off my stencil here. And I'm so okay with these little pieces that are sticking out here. I mean, that doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, you can wipe it off. But I just think it kind of adds character. So I've got my little stencil and my little seahorse there. Trying to make it not so glary. Okay. And we're going to let that dry. In the meantime, so we'll put that aside. We'll come back to you. Let's bring this stencil over. There's still a lot underneath here that's needs to kind of be wiped up, cleaned up here. Just want to make sure it's dry on the surface. Ooh, what I like about it though, and I'll show you in a second here, so let's get the stencil off. Let me just take a peek and see if, no, it didn't work enough. Okay. So my idea didn't quite work. So we're going to move to plan B on this one. Okay. And we're going to do a little, what happens is it just, it bled through the shimmer gloss. Ooh, actually that's pretty nice. Still got a little bit of texture. Let me just do a little dry, but you don't see the um, flowers. Let me just dry it up for a second and make sure it's dry. I like how um, the orange really absorbed on the outside. So it's nice. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to talk over this. It's nice when you make mistakes or things don't turn out because what happens is you end up with, you know, something unexpected and it's really cool. So I'm okay with that. Okay, just want to dry this up a bit. Oops. So, but look how neat that is. So the orange really absorbed onto the other side. And look how neat that would be. Just to use the other side as um, a neat embellishment. But it's also like you can actually see the design through. It's very subtle. I'm just going to do a little blow dry on this to make sure it's dry. are going to put this back on top and you can do this technique with a number of different surfaces you can try it on paper I'm using canvas on this one okay and then with this one what I'm gonna do 
Let me just wipe my palette knife. Let me just take a quick peek here to see if my favorite palette knife is around. I don't know what happened to you. All right. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm going to use, so I have this coarse texture gel, and it's like sand. It's really gritty. And all I'm going to do is run it across the surface of this stencil, and we're going to end up getting like an embossed um, texture on top. And you can mix this with paint, like a paint color if you want, or just use it um, white. So I'm just going to use it white, only because it's going. it goes with my theme. Now, I'm not going to do the whole surface. I'm only going to do kind of like the bottom and up a side. But on the, the area that you are doing, just make sure that it is covered fully with the gel medium. Okay, whoops, I lifted it, all right. So now you're going to carefully lift your stencil off. Oh, that's so pretty. This is one of those sticky stencils, so you just have to be careful. <gasps> Okay, this is so gorgeous. Look at that. See how the bottom part got embossed. And I'm just going to place that there for a second. Wipe off my stencil. Because I'm definitely going to be using the stencil over and over. I just love it. Okay. These stencils are great too because they are sticky on that one side, so they really stay in place. Okay, I'm just going to wash the stencil off. There's a little bit of water. It's got the little sand granules in there, so. Like you were just at the beach. All the sand is sticking to you. <laughs> All right. You want to protect your stencil. So just get that stuff off there, you know, before you start playing. Let's check out our little seahorse. We can add um, some heat to it to dry that up a bit.
All right. So then that still needs to dry a bit. We can move forward with our little seahorse. So I have some white sand here that I'm just going to mix with my gel medium. So get your gel medium there. Add some sand. If you've been following my videos, you've seen this done in um, one of my previous videos on how we did some of the pages in the faux wood, I think it is, the faux wood video. Um, we did this on one of the pages. I kind of added that one in there with it. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of paint to this. It's just the white sand because we're gonna make some coral. And let's see, let's add a little bit of, oh, it's getting, we'll add a little bit of, let's use the green, a little bit of the green. Okay. And we are going to use, I'm going to have to flip it right now because it is up to, upside down. We are literally just going to pick it up and we're going to make coral. And we're just going to lay it on a little bit sculptural. You know, don't fret because, you know, coral comes in all different shapes and sizes. So you just want to get some of this sand on your surface. And don't worry if it's if you find the color a little too like it's not bright enough or what you were thinking it would be because we can add some to it after it dries. We just want the texture. And then I think I'll put a little bit up here too, just on the side. Just in the corner. Okay. And that's all I did. And now what we're going to do is let it dry. I'll add a little heat just to speed it up.
a little bit tacky, but I still might be able to work with it. Okay, so once it's dry, you can go in, and I've got this really pretty pink tourmaline. It's um, like a metallic paint. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my plate here. Dip your finger in it. And you can, you know, kind of put a little bit on the surface. You can do this with any color. Because there's texture, it'll just, you know, pick up in some areas. But I mean, this is just such a really cool way of making coral. And you can do this directly in the pages of your art journal. I like to make embellishments and then pretty much I'll go and do, whoops, stuck my finger in. I can add them to my pages. So I like to, you know, kind of collage my pages and then add stuff like this. So you can do as much or as little as you want. Some you might want more, others. Uh, And you can, you know, add a couple different colors if you want. I'll add a little bit of this rose. And then you still got the green color underneath. And you're adding dimension this way. And then you have this cute little underwater canvas painting that you can put in your art journal and you've literally done it with um, what's it called stencils and if you like you can go with a little pen after we've got some gel pens here markers you want to add like a little eyeball you can add some little detail and I'm doing this all upside down just to you know add a little more interest to your drawing so this little eyeball show and then you have your finished little painting how adorable is that, you guys? And that you can use in the pages, like I always show you, in the pages of your art journal, which I haven't even embellished yet. But, oh, I always seem to go to the same page. <laughs> As a little painting. And you see that I've added some texture here, but how cute is that in an art journal? And that's only one of them. So, there's my little underwater scene. Oh, when I look at him this way, I see that I might add a little more so you can see the horn here. A little outline of my seahorse. Love it, you guys. I love it. Okay, so that's one. I'll stick it there so you guys can look at it while I do this one. And then this one, there's a couple different things that we could do. And I have this on my sandal. I made these. I don't know if you guys saw. 
my last video where I made these little sand dollars and seashells. So I thought maybe I would leave this one as a little tone on tone. And then when I'm doing my art journal, I've got some texture and I'll probably just lay my um, little sand dollars and shells on here like a little embellishment and then I can always write something up here like I don't know life is sweet beach dream breathe calm whatever so that's just two ways of using um, texture and I did do a tutorial on how to make these sand dollars so by all means uh, you can access that video if you are a $5 member and make little embellishments just like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon.